Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share something that I feel like is going to be helpful if you are either going to college or you're currently in college. It is about how I graduated debt free from UCF. So last year I graduated from UCF um, with my major in public relations and advertising. I share some things that I learned and also on how I was able to graduate debt free, which was huge because right now there's probably like trillions of dollars that are spent of student loans that people are still paying back to this day even 15 20 years after they graduate so i just want to share a few things that help me to accomplish that but also that can help you so a few weeks ago i spoke at a scholarship event and i'm going to be inserting throughout the video um just clips of that just so you guys can kind of hear my story my parents migrated from honduras which are here today um, in their 20s and they made it their mission to make um, our dreams come true for me and my sisters um, to have a better future in the United States. They always encouraged me to go to college because they knew that would give me an opportunity to be successful here. I didn't know how I would make it financially but I knew the way that I wanted to go which was communications. My parents didn't know much about FAFSA or all the rigorous application processes that Florida <laughs> requires but what they did know is something that a lot of Latino families know well, is to work hard. Okay, so let me backtrack. So I graduated 2013 from high school, and after high school I had an option to go directly to UCF or to go to Valencia College, which is a community two-year university at the time, um, right after high school. And so when I was looking at how much everything would cost, I feel like people don't understand that the first two years of college are your basic stuff, like your math, your um, science, you know, those kind of courses that you have to take. So your electives you can take towards what your major is, but ideally you're taking those two years of those basic classes. And that's anywhere you go, if you go straight to UCF or if you go um, to a two-year university. And so that is something that made me decide to save so much more money by going to a local college by me that was closer to home that i didn't have to dorm and it was going to be i would say half of the price um than it would have been if i would have gone to a university straight out of high school it is harder to get in when you're in high school to one of those colleges and not only that but is it so much more expensive that people don't realize. I have friends that went to those big universities and they had to come back because their GPA dropped or it was too hard or it was too expensive. So that's something that people don't tell you right in high school. They tell you, go to all these universities, but I feel like if, you know, at the end of the day, I'm gonna graduate with the same degree than someone that went to those two year, um, four year universities, why not do that? So that was number one. That was something that I did, that I did my first two years out of college, and then I transferred over to the university that I wanted to go to. With my classes and internship opportunities, I realized I really like marketing and advertising. Um, it's true when they say that college students change their majors about four or five times, because I was trying to figure it out. Um, not only did I learn to, um, to dabble in different places like marketing, advertising, and uh, news reporting, but um, I graduated from Valencia College in 2015, and did the UCF Direct Connect program to um, the Nicholson School of Communications. Everyone told me that that was one of the hardest programs to get into, that only 30 students um, per semester were admitted, and they said that I would have to apply multiple times before being accepted, and I did it on my first try. So in my first two years of college, um, I was able to have a scholarship that paid for that, so that paid for books and my tuition in college, was, which was amazing. Um, even though I had that paid for, I, I applied for so many scholarships. Like, people don't realize that this is the only time in your life when you're in college that people are gonna give you money and say, you know what, these $2,000 are for you. Hey, here's 4,000, here's 500. And people get discouraged because they apply for like 10 and they don't get any, or they apply for 15 and they get two. But any money is something. It's the only time in your life that you're gonna get money handed to you. I graduated college and I have not received any funds or any extra money into my account from a university because that is only something that while you're in school, they want you to succeed and they wanna give you money to continue going to college. Um, so I feel like that's one thing that a lot of people don't benefit from or don't take advantage of is applying for so many scholarships, like apply for as many as you can. There's some based on, yes, your GPA and how well you're doing and all that sort of stuff, but it's also based on your major. You can apply for some that are based on your gender or you're based on ethnicity and also some other just random ones, like just random ones that you can find online. So that's number one, 
apply for as many scholarships as possible. Um, number two, another thing that people look into um, and that helped me is that I was constantly involved. I was constantly involved in, in the community, helping out in different activities, doing different things, um, joining different clubs, and I feel like that helped me to be um, to be a better candidate when it comes to getting scholarships. So yes, your academics are important, but being active in your school or whatever university you're going to is very helpful because then you make connections. I was able to get some scholarships because I knew some people that, um, you know, were able to refer me or able to direct me on which scholarships to apply for. So that is something that when you apply for scholarships, that is a plus. So they look at that and they're like, okay, she's active or he's active, that's gonna help to move along. Another important thing that people don't think about is what you do with the extra money. So when you go to college, um, if you get scholarships, once it pays off for your books and once it pays off for tuition, if there's any extra, you get a refund. And so I remember my first, second year of, of college that you would get those checks and then you would all of a sudden see people with new hair, new cars, new shoes, you know, going on trips, living their best life, like if they make 100K a year. And that is something that people don't realize that, why not save that money? Like save that money for when you're continuing on. If, you're, if you know that you're gonna be in um, a university for four, six years, so then you can save that money in your first two years or even your junior year um, and be able to pay those semesters. So you can save that money for further semesters. Um, something that some people don't really realize is that summers aren't usually paid for financial aid, so you're gonna have to, if you wanna finish in those four years or those five years, like you have to pay for that. And it sucks when you're paying $2,000 that you don't have or you have to finance it um, monthly or bi-weekly. So if you get that extra refund, save that money and put it away and pretend like it doesn't exist. And use it as just something that you know that it's you're gonna need it eventually. And use it for stuff that you're actually gonna need. So if you really need a laptop or if you really need something for school, then hey, that's what it's for. I was able to buy some, I actually bought part of my uh, my first car, cash, with um, an extra scholarship that I had got. And I did graduate from college in about four and a half years, but I applied for scholarships throughout the whole time. Like every year that I was in school, I was applying, I was asking the questions because I'm a first generation student. So my parents didn't really know about applications, about what scholarships were here, how it all works. So I did my own research and that's something that I just recommend you guys. And if you have any questions about applications or scholarships or what to look at, I can definitely help you with that. But um, those are just things that I wish that other people knew because I would see it constantly and people in thousands of dollars of school loans and you can save so much money by you know, uh, applying and going to a two-year university for saving that extra money and being active, like putting yourself as a good candidate for those scholarships. I really hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, comment down below and like and subscribe for my next video.